What's good, my people? It's your boy Z the Real here, and then I want to get to the Clippers' um, win tonight because I feel they played very well. That was an overtime game, and even though Steph Curry didn't play tonight, I want to say good win. But before I get to them, I want to say this now, and I mean this from the bottom of my heart. I want to say salute and shouts out to the veterans. Okay, to all the men and women our Armed Forces Unit. You know, I, I want to say how much I'm thankful and grateful for all that you've done for this country. You have my full support, okay, to all the men and women, whether you're in the Marines, the Air Force, the Navy, the Frontline Infantry, the Coast Guard. I want to say shouts out to you. And let me just shout out a, a couple of people that I know personally who have served in the military or are currently serving. Uh, first, I want to say to my fam, um, Gianni Vasquez. You know, shouts out to you. You know, he just had his child. He just got married, but he's serving now. Uh, to my in-law, Sean Aguilar. Love you, bro. I know I haven't seen you since my grandpa's funeral, bro. But I, I don't know, man. I love you, man. Um, who else? Um, shouts out to my tongue. And also to my cousin, Dijon McGriffey. Bro, you served well. You did your time. Also, I want to say to my Tong International fam from my fraternity, Long Beach City College, man. My Tong International brothers who are in the military are serving. Matt and Joseph Vigil, the Vigil brothers, man, salute. Daryl DJ Harris, salute. Okay, um, Antonio, Antonio, uh, <clears throat> no, excuse me, not Antonio, man. He's gonna kill me for butcher his name, but Alfredo Carrillo, Alfredo, salute, my brother, salute. Um, you know what I'm saying? And to my tone little sister Ashley Bates, Caitlin, love y'all. Okay, um, uh, shouts out to my friend, you know what I'm saying, Mo, you know what I'm saying. Mo from Carolina, you know what I'm saying? He's doing his thing on Instagram. You know what I'm saying? He's doing his music stuff, but he served too, man. Shouts out to you. My boy Chester, shouts out. And to my uh, my friends, my homeboys on my block, uh, David and Junior Povey. Junior, you know, I know you just came home recently, bro. I miss you, man. You know what I'm saying? You did your time, bro, but I, I appreciate seeing you, man. I was happy to have uh, spent some time with you, you know what I'm saying, last month. Yeah, Junior, I love you. I'm glad you made it home safely. You know what I'm saying? To all, to all the military veterans, shouts out to my pastor, Ron C. Hill. You know, he just celebrated 37 years of his ministry, but, you know, he was also serving in the military. Shouts out to my Uncle Bernard, my Uncle James, you know what I'm saying? Uncle Cassidy, Uncle Larry, you know what I'm saying? They all served in the military and the armed forces units. So, shouts out to everybody out there. And also, I want to say this, too. We lost a legend today. We lost one of the most, I would say, inspirational, most memorable writers okay do ever graces with comic books you no know, shouts out to stan lee may he forever rest in paradise may he forever rest in peace stan lee you were amazing you gave me a wonderful childhood i've i am happy that i got the chance to you know what I'm saying read a lot of your comic books i was i'm a big x-man fan i enjoy reading spider-man you know the incredible hulk the avengers all these great movies, even the Black Panther, that movie, like that to me, Black Panther is one of the best, perhaps the best Marvel film he's ever put out. And the going wrong, I love Deadpool. Like I said, I love my X Men, I love my Spider Mans, but in, no, but not like the like like the Black Panther movie. That Black Panther movie inspired a lot of Black folks. Okay, that need to see that movie, and to think he had that character done way back in the nineteen sixties. He just waited to come out, man. For real, I love Stan Lee. And again, I thank Dizzy for doing right by Stan Lee, by honoring his request, okay, putting out the movies he'll want them to put out. Shouts out to you, okay? So with that out the way, let me get to my Clippers. I want to say good job to the Clippers. You get a clap for me. Good job to the L.A. Clippers, okay? Despite Steph Curry not being there, and again, they the Warriors got no excuses. This is a regular season. Every win matters, okay? But the fact that the Clippers fought hard, they fought under the pressure of playing against Kevin Durant, a now two-time league MB, uh, MV, like the like he's he's a two he's a league MVP. He's now a two-time NBA champion, okay? Finals MVP. All right, you played against the great Kevin Durant. You played against Steph Curry, Klay Thompson. Klay Thompson scored 31 points. He is the best NBA shooter. Him and Steph together, the Splash Brothers, are, no doubt in my mind, they're the best backcourt shooting duo ever in NBA history. Better than John Stockton, better than Dale Curry, Penny Hardaway, all the greats. Kobe Bryant, I'm, I'm sorry, man. Those guys can put it down. And the Clippers played against that. Okay, you play against Livingston. 
Iguodala, okay? Yeah, Boogie Cousins wasn't there, but still, these are professionals. The fact that the Clippers were able to knock off the Warriors, beat the Warriors tonight, means a lot. The Warriors don't rarely lose, don't lose these many games at all, okay? Y'all gotta understand something. This is a rivalry. The Clippers gonna play their hearts out, okay? Look at Lou, look at Lou Williams right now, man. Lou Williams, to me, should have been an all-star. The, the fact that Lou Williams was in the all-star game last year was clearly sad. It really was. Hey, I hope Adam Silver is watching this. NBA, I hope you're watching this. Put Lou Williams into the all-star game this year. He's proven to be a true all-star. Man, scored 25 points and kept us in the game. Look what he did to the Bucks on Saturday. He, we beat Giannis Antetokounmpo and the Bucks. okay? The Bucks that's hot in the East, we beat them in overtime. Thanks to Lou Williams, and now we just beat the Warriors, okay? That's two contending teams that are top tier in the NBA now. Y'all got to give Lou Williams some respect. That man is sixth man of the year. Shouts out to Tobias Harris. Under Doc Rivers, Tobias Harris is now going to be the new Paul Pierce. I truthfully believe, believe that. Like, Doc Rivers has found his new Paul Pierce. You know, shouts out to Paul Pierce. I enjoy watching him throughout my, throughout my childhood. Paul Pierce was no doubt phenomenal. He's an NBA champion himself, but... Tobias Harris has reminded me a lot of Paul Pierce. The way Doc Rivers is using Paul Pierce, I see a lot of, of Paul Pierce in Tobias Harris. Tobias Harris is really starting to show his full potential because now he's under the right coaching. Okay? And then look at Shy Gilders Alexander. Matter of fact, Jared West telling Mike Wayne and Lawrence Frank to trade the picks we got for Shy Gilders Alexander was the right move. Okay, I think Shy Gilders Alexander, if I believe it's correct, he was a I think a seventh or eighth round pick in this year's draft. This young, that young man is playing great, okay? He's playing good. And I mean, he's looking like a, like a candidate for rookie of the year. Okay, I understand you got DeAndre Ayton in uh, Phoenix. But Gilgis Alexander is on a team now that he can really shine. The Clippers need something like that now. And the problem for the Clippers is that Doc Rivers, when he was the president GM, he traded away a lot of his draft picks, so he didn't use a lot of them, okay? So that kind of hurt us. But Gilgis Alexander right now, he's 6'6". He's the same... Height and size is Kobe Bryant when he first came in. This is why Jerry West told the Clippers, that Lawrence Frank, to go after Gilders Alexander. You see this now. That young man got steals. Okay, he's getting to the rim. He got the inside. He has a long wingspan of reach. He has a three-point shot. This young man, I line, he, he can be that next Donovan Mitchell. The year Donovan Mitchell and Jason Tatum had last year, Gilders Alexander can have this year. He can be rookie of the year. I, no doubt in my mind, he's playing like it. Okay? And we didn't even need the other rookie, John, like Jerome Robinson. I'm sorry to say this, but he might be trade bait. He might get traded during trade deadline because we don't have much use for him. But Gilders Alexander, I'm, and nothing against Jerome Robinson. I know he played, he uh, he practiced with Russell Westbrook just before uh, his senior year and uh, before he left Boston College. Jerome Robinson got potential too, but Gilders Alexander, I'm, that man right, that young man there at 20 years old. He is no joke, okay? That's not that's somebody you need to be taken seriously. I guarantee you, after this game, Gilgis Alexander is going to be on a lot of film, okay? Whoever we're going to be playing next, they're going to be paying attention to Gilgis Alexander. But shy man, great game. Great game. And more sun go tart. Good game. And I, I'm sorry to say this because don't get me wrong now. I'm enjoying watching DeAndre Jordan. But the problem with DeAndre Jordan, he's too one-sided, okay? He's too one-dimensional. Centers like DJ, they're not, they're not around. They're phasing out the league. Like, if you are a center, you got to have some type of perimeter shot. DeAndre Jordan does not have a perimeter shot. Not like Gortat has. That's one thing Marcin Gortat does better than DeAndre Jordan is that Gortat, Marcin Gortat can actually shoot the two-pointer when we need him to. Marcin Gortat got, more, got multiple ways of scoring the basket inside the paint, especially against defenders. See, the problem with the Warriors... And this is the problem with them missing Boogie Cousins that they're missing centers. They're missing an inside presence. This is what this is why JaVale McGee was so important to them because JaVale McGee got a long, got height advantage, okay? JaVale McGee can guard up against most centers. Okay, like I said, the man can the man can block your shots. He can defend inside the paint. JaVale McGee did well for them last year. But see, the Warriors don't have McGee and Boogie is injured. That's the risk they're willing to take. But still, it's like I say, you can't, if you if you the Warriors, you can't have no mismatches like that. I'm sorry. All the Clippers did, all Doc Rivers did was expose the mismatch. He used more sun guard tight inside that paint. And then it freed up space for Tobias Harris and Lou Williams to do what they needed to do. And even Montrez Harrell, Montrez Harrell scored 23 points. Okay? 
If we continue to have good games by Montrezl Hill, and Montrezl Hill continues to score 23 points a game tonight like he did against the Warriors, because to me, Montrezl Hill was putting up Draymond Green numbers. You know, players like Draymond, DeMar DeRozan, Giannis, okay, and even uh, and even Marcus Morris, those guys put up 23 a game. Montrezl Hill is, is showing, is proving to be a great player. That man put up literally Jay Crowder type numbers. Okay? Montrezl Harrell, great defender. Okay? If we can keep, continue to get that intensity from him, the Clippers going to be fine. And this is what I noticed too. Ever since the Lakers got LeBron James in that uniform and Magic was able to get LeBron James to sign that contract, nobody's talking about the Clippers anymore. Despite Jerry West being the advisor, he was there last year. Despite us having Jerry West, despite us hiring Lawrence Frank and Mike Wayne, despite the Clippers actually winning games, and the Clippers actually, you know what I'm saying, within the top five of the Western Conference, where the Lakers is working their way from the bottom, nobody wants to give the Clippers no respect at all. None, man. The Clippers defeated the Milwaukee Bucks. How many analysts was actually talking about that? That was not on, I don't remember seeing that on, uh, on undisputed or force tape. Why is that? Okay, I understand we don't got Chris Paul no more. We don't got Blake Griffin or DeAndre Jordan. But look how well the Clippers are playing right now since Chris Paul, DJ, and Blake Griffin are gone. The Clippers, since those three are gone, are, are moving the ball more now, more effectively. You see the ball being rotated more. More guys are scoring the ball. Okay, even the Clippers bench has gotten better now since we hired, we signed Mike Scott and Mama Mute. We got Bobo Marmarnovic, we drafted from last year. He's been playing well. Look how good the Clippers are playing. Okay? Y'all so into the Lakers. Lakers this, Lakers that, but y'all not even talking about the Clippers. And the Clippers are playing without them. Clippers don't have no top tier superstar. We're playing good right now without a Kawhi Leonard, which the Leonard wanted to be. Kawhi wanted to get traded to this team. I knew San Antonio wasn't going to do that because we're the rival team. We beat San Antonio in the playoff series before because that wasn't going to happen. We're doing it without Jimmy Butler. Jimmy Butler wanted to get traded to this team. We're doing it without Butler. We're doing it without a LeBron James or Kevin Durant. And speaking of LeBron James, this is for those who watched my videos before, if LeBron James would have chose this team here, no doubt in my mind, the Clippers would be number one on the Western Conference. We just defeated Milwaukee and the Golden State Warriors. If we would have LeBron James, LeBron would have no problems he's having right now. There will be no, no one saying, there, there'll be no struggling at all. Under Doc Rivers coaching with LeBron James, LeBron James will be literally, literally, no one saying, up here for MVP again. I mean, he already, he's already MVP player, don't get me wrong. But if LeBron would have chosen to go to the Clippers, if he would have turned down Magic Johnson when he hit that airport, saying, no, nah, brother, before I sign with you, let me, let me see what the Clippers are trying to do. We have money to sign him anyway. If LeBron James was on this Clipper team instead of the Lakers, the Clippers would be ready to compete for a championship. The Clippers would literally be dominating league. We wouldn't be having four or five losses. Okay? We would literally be, we'll be like 10 and we'll be like 10 and 0 or 10 and 1. There's no doubt in my mind. LeBron James chose the wrong LA team. And I repeat, LeBron, you chose the wrong LA team. Okay? You should have chose, you should have came to the Clippers. Now, LeBron, I mean, I understand you may be mad at Doc Rivers. Doc Rivers may be your rival because he beat you for he beat you in the playoffs at least two or three times. Yeah, you got him back in 2011, but Doc, when he was on the Celtics, he did beat you out numerous times. Okay, I understand that, that you may see Doc Rivers as your rival, but Doc is the far better coach than Luke Walton by far. Check Doc Rivers' resume as a player and coach, okay? Luke Walton, I'm sorry, he ain't been coaching that long enough, okay? Luke Walton has only been the head coach for like two seasons, okay? And the only reason why he even got the job in the Golden State because his daddy's Bill Walton, Okay? The Warriors would have won that championship and Mark Jackson was still their head coach. Okay? Even if you had Larry Brown last year when Steve Kerr was, was sick and they still won games. He still took them into the finals with Steve Kerr's absence. Okay? He at least got that far. Yeah, Lou Walton won a lot of games with them, but still, that team, could, the Warriors are good. They don't even have to have a head coach. They can win with just assistant head coach there. They'll still get to the championship. Okay? But the Clippers beating this Golden State Warriors team means a lot. And I understand a lot of y'all writing my Clippers off. Y'all don't got faith. But shouts out to the people who are still Clippers fans. Because y'all are the true fans. I'm right now with y'all. I'm not leaving. Just because LeBron James is in L.A., I'm not Clipper Daryl. I'm not going to switch sides like that. No, man. 
I want this Clipper team to win a championship. That's my that's one of my dreams. Just like I want the Cowboys to win that sixth ring, I want the Clippers to win that first. And with Jerry West as our advisor, doing what he did for Golden State, it's no doubt in my mind we can win a championship. And they're showing you this now. Lou Williams is playing the best basketball he's ever played with this team. Okay? Since Lou Williams has been on his team last year, this man has had games where he scored 50 points. Two 40-point games. When have you ever seen Lou Williams score that high? Okay? I love this Clipper team for real, but that, the Clippers are showing a lot of potential. That if they had a Kawhi Leonard, they had a Kevin Durant, or even Klay Thompson, will be going to the finals. And speaking of which, man, y'all got to stand this, man. For you analysts, Stephen A. Smith, Max Kellerman, Chris Carter, all of you, I want you to hear me loud and clear. For all you analysts and you media that's come on there trying to put every free agent saying they should go to the Lakers, y'all need to take, come look at the Clippers right now. For real. If the Clippers had a Bradley Beal, a Kawhi Leonard, a Klay Thompson, a Kevin Durant, an Anthony Davis, we're on our way to the NBA Finals. That's guaranteed. I will bet any kind of money on that. You could buy a Kevin Durant, even LeBron James, yeah, he went to the Clippers along with Tobias Harris, Gallinari, a Tobias Harris, a Gallinari, a Pat Beverly, a Lou Williams, a Avery Bradley. That type of backcourt with a guard tight and ball bomb on Runovich, that's an NBA championship team with much defense. All the defense needed. Carmelo Anthony. If Carmelo Anthony was on this Clipper team right now, y'all wouldn't be talking about him as bad either. And I'm, I'm going to get to Carmelo Anthony too in another video. Because I think it's sad how people keep trying to write off Carmelo Anthony. Carmelo is doing what he has to do to try to win an NBA championship. That's why Carmelo Anthony chose to go to OKC because he believed in Russell Westbrook. Carmel Anthony believed that with Russell Westbrook and Paul George, they might have a chance to get to the finals. That's why Carmel Anthony chose, was happy to get traded to that team. Because Carmelo feel, okay, I'm with one of the best point guards in this league, the best finishers. Paul George is a finisher. I'm making, making, make it work. But sad to say he didn't. But to be talking about Carmel Anthony like he ain't did nothing is really sad. This man is an Olympic gold medalist, okay? Carmel Anthony is better than the 75% of the NBA now. Most guys in this league, these 21, 22 year olds, can't shoot as well as Carmel Anthony. And we had how many busts? First round busts in the last five, six years? Come on now. Anthony Bennett's. You know what I'm saying? We have the Tyrus Jones. Come on now. Andrew Wiggins. What has Andrew Wiggins done in the last four or five, six years since he got drafted? He's done much of nothing, okay? And Carmel Anthony is still can put up points. He still can put up numbers. The man went to the Rockets because he wants to win a championship. The Rockets got to the Western Conference Finals for the for like the, for the first time in a long time since 2015. Okay? Y'all gotta give Carmen Anthony a break right now. He's trying to find his way back to being competitive. To how he was in his Denver Nuggets days, his New York Knicks days, man. You can't knock that man for trying to go to a contending team. But even if we had Carmen Anthony, if we had Carmen Anthony on his Clipper team, all we need Carmen Anthony to do is score is score the rock. Put points on the board. We will have enough defense to back up Carmelo. If Carmel Anthony on this Clipper team, y'all be talking about Carmel Anthony in a whole different light. So you analysts, Matt, you know what I'm saying, Shannon Sharp, Stephen A. Smith, okay, Skip Bayless, y'all need to give Clippers some respect. Y'all talk about the Lakers too much, man. Shannon Sharp, I'm sorry, you need to stop being biased. We understand you're a LeBron James supporter, but stop talking about the Lakers all the time. The Lakers did the media last year for losing. They weren't even this good. Remember, the Clippers finished 44 games and we had more injuries than the Lakers did. Okay? Doc Rivers is still the better coach than Luke Walton. Okay? Doc Rivers has been in the two NBA Finals. Look what that man did in Orlando before he left, before they fired him. He did make Tracy McGrady a star over there. Okay? He did work well with Grant Hill. Man, y'all got to give this man some respect. The Clippers are moving the ball well. They're rotating better, man. They actually got some young guys, man. Look at Tyrese Wallace. Okay? Look at, look at, like, look at Montrez Harrell. Look at Bo Bo Montbarnett. Tobias Harris. Where was Tobias? Tobias Harris' career was going nowhere. I'm sorry, the Magic and the Pistons were not didn't don't have a Doc Rivers. They don't have that good that good of an organization. But under Clippers, look how good Tobias Harris is playing. Okay, y'all don't want to give the Clippers no love at all. That's sad. Now watch, and I want everybody to pay attention tomorrow. I want y'all to turn on your TV screens tomorrow, and I want to see if the Clippers gonna get talked about. I want y'all to tell me for myself. Watch, turn on the TV screen tomorrow. And let's see if, the, if they're going to talk about this Golden State Warrior team losing to this L.A. Clippers. I want to see if they're going to give the Clippers any type of respect. Because see, this, this, this is why I don't I didn't want LeBron James coming to the Lakers. Because you're going to get too many biased fans. 
You get too much of the media acting biased. Okay? It's like this media wants the Lakers to win a championship badly. But no, if the Lakers want to win a championship, they're going to have to earn it. They're going to have to prove they belong to play for the finals. Okay? Kobe Bryant ain't there no more. Okay? There's no more Phil Jackson. You know, Jerry Buss, may he rest in peace too, man. The guy was a legend, but those guys ain't coming back no more. Okay? Y'all got to understand that. Yeah, you got Jeannie Buss, but Jeannie Buss ain't her daddy neither. Okay? LeBron went to a Laker team that was rebuilding. You got young guys. And to keep putting those, to keep putting a Kevin Durant, a Clay Thompson, Anthony Davis in front of Kyle Kuzma Ingram is totally disrespectful. That's out of line. Why does Ingram need to be traded? Y'all disrespecting these younger players. Give Lonzo some, some more time. But every time for the last three, four weeks since the NBA season started, you be y'all been talking about all these free agents going to Lakers. What about this Clipper team? Kawhi Leonard even said it to himself. I did not grow up a Lakers fan. Okay? My family likes the Lakers. I don't like the Lakers. Okay? So what makes you think Kawhi Leonard don't want, don't want to join the Clippers? Y'all said it yourself on first take, Max Kellerman. Jerry West is in the building now. All right? So for all you hating people, you haters, you bias-ass, bandwagon Laker fans, I'm sorry to tell you this, but the Clippers, you know what I'm saying, going to be the next team in LA winning the championship. And I can almost guarantee that. The Clippers are literally 85, almost 9, they're literally 85 to 90% there to having the roster they need to compete for the title. Because if they playing this well without an all-star, because to me, man, you can't sleep on Gallinari at all, man. Gallinari is very effective when he's healthy. Goon Williams is no doubt in my mind a superstar in his lead, okay? Marshawn Gartart, better in center. Marshawn Gartart is better than most centers you're going to find. Tobias Harris, man, is still 25 years old. He has a lot of potential he's showing right now. He could be that guy we need, okay? Y'all need to let these free agents choose where they want to go. It's just for example, right? Y'all got nerve to say Clay Thompson will leave the Warriors and go to Lakers. Why would Clay Thompson want to leave the Warriors and go to the Lakers? That's his daddy's team. The Golden State Warriors is his team. And even then, Jerry West has a better relationship with Clay Thompson than Magic Johnson does. Y'all forget, Jerry West was there when Clay Thompson got drafted as the Golden State Warriors. Jerry West built that Golden State Warriors team you see today that's produced three NBA championships in the last five years. Okay? They now have four NBA titles from the 1970s since Rick Barry was last over there. All right? Since Jerry West came over there, he was part of the rebuilding process that Joe Lacob hired over there. Y'all ain't giving Jerry West no kind of respect at all. I understand y'all don't respect the Clippers at all, but the Clippers, is like I said, they own the right track. They're not the same team no more. The Donald Sterling era, that's long, long over. This is why Doc Rivers did what he wanted to do because Doc wants to win his team a championship. Doc felt sorry for this Clipper team. The abuse yet they had to suffer through Sterling. Okay? Y'all need to scratch it out. The Clippers are a much better team. And no, they're not moving to Seattle for you idiots who don't get it. Okay? How the Clippers go move to Seattle? The, the, um, the mayor of Seattle can't afford, a, uh, can't even afford to have a basketball team. You see why the Suns move? Then the Suns couldn't even stay in their own arena. So what makes you think a team, the Clippers going to move over there? Just because Bowman was born in Seattle, don't mean for the move his team over there. No. L.A. is the much better market. And he's going to build the arena in Inglewood. The old form, Steve Bowman has been approved to build around that. Okay? No, the Clippers are here to stay in L.A. And they're going to win a championship to L.A. That's why Jerry West chose to come to this team here. Because his last mission before he retired is to help the Clippers win an NBA championship. Just like the Sparks, the WMA team got a championship. Just like the Dakers got championships. Just like the Kings got championships. The Clippers got to win a championship too. Galaxy, they all got championships. It's the Clippers' turn. So I understand y'all may not like this. Y'all may hate it. That's fine with y'all. That's y'all opinion. Me, I'm going to stay being a Clipper fan because that's how much I believe in this organization. That's how much I believe in this team. I got a heart for the Clippers. Man, like I said, tonight just proves how good this Clippers are. This Clippers team is serious. And this win right here is only going to give the Clippers confidence. You know what I'm saying? Clippers ain't scared of no Steph Curry. Y'all forget, we're the only team in the last five years that actually beat the Warriors with Curry there. Okay? The team they had in 2014 with Mark Jackson is, a, is no different than the team they had when Steve Curry took over that, uh, that roster, okay? We beat them in Game 7 in the first round. That says a lot. Only us and the San Antonio Spurs are the only two teams since Golden State has had Steph, Clay, Draymond, okay? And Kevin Durant, since they've been together the last six, seven years, we're the only team that gave that team a loss in the playoffs. No other team has been able to do that. Utah couldn't do it. Portland Show could do that. The Rockets, no. Okay? 
The Denver Nuggets, no. None of those teams were able to beat the Warriors since Steph has been the MVP of the league. None of them, except us, okay? Give the Clippers some credit, man. You know what I'm saying? At least appreciate And this is why I like it. Shouts out to Kenny Smith, Kenny the Jet, man. He at least acknowledged how good this team is. Shaq has even said it before. This team is a sleeper. This is a sleeper team. We are very underrated defensively, okay? But y'all going to stop respecting this for real. But for real, I'm, the question is, is this team going to be talked about tomorrow tomorrow morning on first take and undisputed? I want to see what Shannon Sharp got to say about this Clipper team now. Since you so into Lakers, right? Yeah, the Lakers got Tyson Chandler. They beat the um, they beat the T Wolves. Okay, they just beat the Hawks. We just beat the Golden State Warriors in overtime. Okay, the Hawks are the Hawks. The Hawks ain't the Golden State Warriors. We beat a Warrior team that's the two-time NBA champions that basically swept LeBron James last season. We beat them in overtime. We beat Giannis on Saturday in overtime. If y'all don't talk about the Clippers, man, y'all, it's, it's, it's basically there. Y'all need to get investigated for real. We need to see how much money Magic Johnson is paying y'all, okay? I, I, I know, man, because something is telling me, man, Magic Johnson has something to do with LeBron James being, being talked about the whole season. Just last year, right, LeBron James was still in the country with the Cavaliers, and y'all were still talking about LeBron joining the Lakers all season long. That looks suspicious, okay? Shannon Sharp, you got to cool it down on that, man. Cool it down on that Laker talk. You and LeBron, you got to cool it down on that. Matter of fact, Adam Silver should start running investigation because that's clearly tampering. Didn't Magic Johnson get called on that before? All last year was LeBron this, LeBron that on the Lakers. All these players joined the Lakers. If Durant didn't join the Lakers, and let's keep this for real now. Since y'all talking about Durant joining the Lakers, when Kevin Durant was a free agent, just don't you know, say two years ago, all right? The five teams Kevin Durant was going to meet up with was the, he had a meeting with OKC before he left, the New York Knicks. The San Antonio Spurs, okay? The San Antonio Spurs, if I'm not correctly, in my head, I think he might have had a meeting with the Houston Rockets. I may be wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. But just, I, but just no, you know, not even, the, no, not even the Rockets, the Gold State Warriors, and then the LA Clippers, us. Durant didn't want to meet with the LA Lakers. He had no intention of going over there. Why? Because he didn't want to go to a team that's literally did nothing, ain't did nothing since Kobe left, okay? Matter of fact, since after 2011 and after 2012, they ain't did much of nothing. The Lakers have been swept twice in the last 15 years. Against San Antonio, which Mike D'Antoni ran that team to the ground. And then in 2011 against Dirk Nowitzki now, okay? Why would Durant want to go over there? He didn't want to play for the Luke Walton? No. But how we beat him, how the Clippers is playing right now, you don't think Durant would choose the Clippers? You don't think Durant would rather, you know what I'm saying, play with Jerry West, a team that Jerry West is basically advising, versus going to Magic Justin and Genie? Y'all don't think that'll happen? If you don't think that'll happen, y'all are literally, clearly, man, smoking the wrong type of stuff. Y'all need to stop doing what y'all been doing. Okay? No, give this Cooper team some respect. For real. Against the Warriors tonight, that was an excellent game. Okay? And the Clippers continue, continue to play like they planned, it's no doubt in my mind. We're going to make the playoffs. We could be a fifth or fourth seed or better. Okay? This is the NBA, all right? This Clipper team, this is why Lawrence Frank said it, you know what I'm saying, in, uh, in a conference he had, that he wants personality. He wants guys who are, who are sure, who are passionate about playing this game, who are serious about winning. This is why Jerry West don't go after everybody. He only goes after certain players in the draft. Okay? Max Kerry, like you said, Jerry West is in the building. This is a much different Clipper team. And then against Blake Griffin, like I said, I, I, no doubt I'm not, I had a chance of seeing Blake Griffin before, meeting the man for the first time, okay? I enjoyed Blake Griffin, what he done for this team, but he couldn't, he couldn't help us win no championship. I'm sorry, man. Blake Griffin was injury prone. This man basically punched one of the assistants, okay? One of the assistant trainers. Got on tour with a trainer, okay? Punched him and got suspended more games. He can't stay healthy every year. Chris Paul the same way. I love Chris Paul. He's my favorite guard in the league. One of my favorite players, but his, his health was a problem for us. DeAndre Jordan not being able to hit a lot of his free throws. Not having a perimeter shot. Can't shoot a three. I'm sorry. That wasn't working for us. So it was time to break them up anyway. But this Clipper team is young. They're athletic. They got energy. They doing after you. So, again, Clippers, good win tonight. You deserve a clap for that. Good job. Great job. Continue to play like that. I believe in every last one of y'all. Lou Will, man, for real, keep playing like that, Lou Williams. This is why we gave you the contract, because you earned that contract. You know what I'm saying? That three-year deal with that match, Lou Williams, you earned that. 
Okay, you are you are one of the pieces we needed to go to a championship. Tobias Harris, keep playing like that, bro. Keep keep that up, man. For real, you are the new Paul Pierce of this league. For real. And again, I'm not trying to replace who Paul Pierce is, but bro, yeah, you play it just like him, man. For real. I love your decision making. Continue to play like that. For real. Y'all need to give for real, man. Give this Clippers some respect. For real. You media, you analysts, give the Clippers some respect. They deserve. Give the Clippers some respect they need, Stephen A. So, man, anyways, folks, that's the video here, man. I know I made me rant on right now, but I'm excited right now, for real. Because that was a much-needed win. The Clippers deserve a win. Now, we beat the Golden State Warriors. If we can beat the Warriors, there's no doubt in my mind. We can beat Houston. We can beat San Antonio. We can beat Toronto. We can beat these teams. Okay? Just by the Clippers beating the Warriors, they're in position right now to make a run. All right? Again, folks, that's the video. But again, I want to see if any one of these analysts tomorrow are going to be talking about the Clippers right now. Or they're just going to be bashing Golden State because they didn't have Steph Curry there. Because even if Steph Curry would have been there, I believe the Clippers would have still fought that hard. They would have still gave it to him. Beverly ain't scared of no Steph Curry. Shaq Gilders and Alexander ain't scared of no Steph Curry. Tobias Harris ain't scared of no Steph Curry. Montrez Harrell ain't scared of no Steph Curry. Gortat does not fear Steph Curry. Okay? Yeah, Curry is good. He's one of the best point guards in his league. He's the best point guard. Okay, but still. No, man. The Clippers ain't showing no fear at all. They got a lot to prove right now. And they got to prove to you haters. They got to prove to the fans. They got to prove to the analysts, this media, that they're serious. They're for real. This is a different organization. Okay? And we ain't going nowhere. All right? We are one. We're literally, we got the backs. We got, we got money right now, just like the Lakers do, to pull two MVP, two all-star quality players. So y'all need to take that into consideration. Jerry West and Steve Ballmer, Steve Ballmer Malone can outbid Jeannie Buss and Magic Johnson next year, next summer. The thing Magic Johnson pulled to get LeBron James, he ain't going to be able to do with Kawhi Leonard. I'm telling you that now. Okay? Y'all keep trying to put Kawhi Leonard and Anthony Davis. Anthony Davis is still on a contract with the Pelicans. Why are y'all talking about Anthony Davis going to the Lakers? That's Again, that's that's obvious. No, man. Ain't no money. Ain't no money. The money Magic Johnson or Genie's or Rob Lake is trying to pay y'all for y'all to keep talking about free, these these are uh, these players that's on teams right now going to Lakers. That's not gonna be enough to stop them from going over there. Okay? If any one of these players choose to go to the Clippers, then so be it. Alright? That's just how it is. Alright? If the Clippers get to the playoffs and they get to let's say the Western Conference Finals, watch out. Because if Durant becomes a free agent, if Durant really if let's say Durant. And, and this, this will officially put Durant above LeBron James. Let's say Durant wins another NBA championship with the Warriors, but his contract's up because they can't keep him. Because I believe the Warriors are going to choose, choose Klay Thompson over Durant. Let's say Durant goes and he beats, he has a meeting with the Clippers. He talks to Steve Ballmer. <coughs> Excuse me. He has a meeting with Jerry West, who he has a relationship already with in Golden State. And he talks to Doc Rivers. You know, they talk it out. You know, Durant runs a practice with this Clipper team, and he already sees the potential. You don't think Durant will choose to go to the Clippers? And let's say Durant sides with us, right? And then we, we get Durant, and now we get Durant, and then let's say we also get Kawhi Leonard. Because Kawhi Leonard feel, okay, I can play with Durant. I can win a championship with this guy. Let's go. Or if we don't get Durant, we get Jimmy Butler. Or scratch that. Jimmy's already, already with the 76ers. That's out the way. But even now, but not even Jimmy Butler, let's say Clay Tesla decides to go to the Clippers and swerve it. As a swerve move, okay? Or we don't get him, we get a trade for Bradley Beal. Because even then, even without Kawhi Leonard, even without Jimmy Butler, if we get just get Kevin Durant with Tobias Harris and Gallagher, we already got a championship team there. But let's just say Durant chooses us instead of the Lakers, right? Don't you know that I'll put the Clippers in position to win a championship? Don't you know we'll be going to the finals? And if, let's say, Durant wins a championship this year, three-piece, but then he goes to the Clippers and we help us win a championship title... That will top everything LeBron James has done his entire career. Everything. You think LeBron James giving the Cavaliers a championship was special? Just wait until Durant helps the Clippers, a team that was a laughing stock for years, who been under the shadow Lakers of NBA championship. That would be worth more for Kevin Durant's Hall of Fame legacy. That would no doubt in my mind, Kevin Durant will be one of the greatest players ever if he does that. So I want y'all to marinate on that. Steve A. Smith, Shadow Sharp. I want you to marinate on that. Marinate on the fact that Kevin Durant can choose to go to the Clippers instead of the Lakers. Because I'm tired of this. I'm, I'm tired of hearing about that. Trace McGrady, all y'all. Y'all talk about people joining the Lakers. What about this Clippers team? 
that all they missing is Kevin Durant. If we get if we get Kevin Durant in free agency in 2019, y'all better watch out. The Clippers gonna be knocking on that door. They gonna be on their way to the NBA Finals, and Doc Rivers will have everything he need, all the pieces he need. Cause like I said, Kevin Durant with Tobias Harris, Pat Beverly, Avery Bradley, Lou Williams, with Shai Gilders, Alexander, Mike Scott, Lock, Luke Robert Mute, NBA championship team. That's way better than the Houston Rockets. Like there be there be no doubt in my mind at all. All right. And we'll be talking about a Clippers versus Celtics or Clippers versus 76ers or Clippers versus the um, Rappers championship if that happens, okay? But again, to all my other Clipper fans, I thank y'all so much for, for y'all support. Stay believing in this team, man. We need y'all support, for real. I'm your boy Z the Real Hill. I thank you for watching this video. Like, comment, subscribe. Stay blessed. Stay tuned. I'll see you real soon. Goodbye.